I met with uh, new, uh, new, uh, new other new business, uh, which I'm going to bring up. I met with uh, Kathleen Murphy at SAU 90 today uh, when I went to pick up the SAU 90 budget books, where I was informed that I could pick up and did pick up all of the budget books for SAU 90 for this committee, which I will distribute at the conclusion of this meeting, except for Frank DeLucas, who I was told he already had. <laughs> I further inquired, as I had on a telephone call with uh, Kathleen and Nathan um, uh, last week, Friday, I believe it was. Um, as I said, I get a lot of stuff going on that I don't bother sharing with you, but until it's appropriate. <coughs> I had asked him about whether the school board had decided whether to finally put the, ta the tally votes on the ballot. He said they'd raise it to the school board. And, of course, rather than me telling you what I heard today from Kathleen, I'll let Mr. Frank, who voted on the matter, describe it. Well, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> but I think Kathleen probably voiced a, a better opinion than I could. But the motion did come up, and we basically had a discussion, and uh, the discussion was basically tabled. So there was no vote. It was tabled. It, we had no vote. We had no vote. Okay. No vote. See? Kathleen told me you did have a vote. No, she was confused. I had uh -huh. a conversation. She was so still more confusion, Dave. How about that? <laughs> you, we are not alone. <laughs> okay, so uh, that's Frank's uh, interpretation. I want to point out something to you guys, which I found very interesting, as I point out to Kathleen. Every year I learn something new and I get a little bit more knowledgeable. Yeah, it's kind of a creeps over time, you know. And... Uh, I was talking to some people in town hall, and they pointed me to this article, which is the NHMA <coughs> article. And I know that it's not an official website, the NHMA website, but this is the NHMA website. It's an article that they all also printed in their so-called town and country magazine. Boy, town and city? Town and whatever, yeah. Town and city, yeah, I okay. think. Um, and here it is. We apparently have a new law, Frank, and everyone should pay, take note of this. The Budget Committee tallies on a warrant article. In chapter 246, HB 1392, amended a law, and now it says that this year's amendment, in the second paragraph down here, as you can see on the screen, this year's amendment states that not only may the governing body choose to print the vote tallies in the warrant, a Budget Committee adopted under RSA 32.14, which we are, may also choose to, quote, require that the tallies of its votes be printed next to the affected article. Keep reading. <coughs> well, I mean, that's the substance of it. Well, we just read a little more. Why not finish the paragraph? Note that because the governing body, not the budget committee, controls the warrant, the amendment does not authorize the budget committee to print the vote tallies, but authorizes the committee to require that the tallies be printed, i.e., the budget committee may tell the selectmen to print the budget committee's tallies, and the selectmen must comply. The budget committee may not require that the selectmen's tallies be printed, only its own tallies. Note also that this authority is given only to the budget committee adopted under RSA 3214, which we are, and not to an advisory budget committee, which we are not. Thank you. So, it appears as though we no longer need to say, please, please print our tallies. We can simply order it. Now, if the committee would like, I will uh, do some research and, and find the exact proper wording for a motion to require our tallies to be placed on the ballot. Is that desirable? Yes. Yes. Very much so. Is there an objection? You object, Frank. Okay. She would have surprised. Then, in that case, I will need a motion to overcome so Frank's so. objection. <laughs> Moved by Mr. Clough, seconded by Mr. Warburton. Is there a discussion, Frank? <laughs> mm. Okay. <laughs> Anyone else? I, uh, I have no, no problem with this motion. Aren't they already printed on the ballot? Well, you see, that's the funny thing is that the selectmen of the town of Hampton have, for many years, been transparent enough to print the tallies on the warrant. However, the school board has been reluctant, in fact, unwilling. No, no, that's incorrect. Oh, excuse me. When did the school board print the tallies? 
we don't exactly we have so, that but we I'm are not me, Frank, like I am not done speaking <laughs> you can have your chance yet again but the school board having been requested to by me and others you know raise the question discuss it why not have that level of why not meet the same level of transparency the town of Hamptons Board of Selectmen meets every year even when the budget committee and the town selectmen are at odds with each other sometimes even screaming at each other over the years still the selectmen were transparent enough to put it on the ballot why can't the school committee uh, engage in at least that level of transparency that question has been raised over and over again for a number of years and we keep being met with silence or more or less the description that Frank offered tonight so I am done go ahead Frank thank you First of all, the school board is not opposed to that, okay? We're not opposed to it, all right? And basically, we all vote in unison, all right? So, to make it simplified, when we present the budget, we've never had an issue, nor have we ever been told by this board or any other board that we must have a tally. Requested, but not mandated. Now, I understand if I read that correctly that the selectmen are mandated, but I don't see where the school board is mandated. Would you like to elaborate on that? I would. Uh, it says, actually in the second paragraph, it says, uh, i.e., the budget committee may tell the selectmen. Obviously, it is referring to, and I haven't seen the actual law, this is the NHMA doing their legislative changes for the year from the state legislature, right? So this is an opinion, okay? And I need to look at the law so I can make sure if there's any specific wording required. That's what the research is about. That's what the motion is for. Should I do the research for that motion? Now when it says I, for example, the selectmen, uh, the, board, the budget committee can tell the, or direct the board of selectmen, the board of selectmen being a governing body, you say, and the school board being a governing body, I assume, I assume that the law treats them no differently. They're just governing bodies. You know bodies. what the word assume means, yeah. though. Yeah. Yeah. Got to do the research. <laughs> and it's about to happen to you, but not me. <laughs> <laughs> so any further discussion on the motion that I should research the proper wording for this? Okay, all those in favor of the motion, please raise your hand. Everyone except me, who is Mr. Neutral and abstains, and Mr. Frank, who is voting. Oh, I abstain from voting. Oh, Mr. Frank abstains, so he objected to the actual request. He's now abstaining to the actual vote. Okay, we're clear on that, Frank. Thank you.